What's up, everybody? I'm here with Jonan Vasquez, the renowned creator of Invader Zim, and he's here hanging in the office with us. How did you get started in animation? Uh, I was doing comic books, and uh, Nickelodeon contacted me about uh, doing a show for them. That's how Invader Zim happened. But I had never done animation before that point. Like, I don't animate myself. I'm not an animator. I'm more like I come up with the ideas, and then someone animates them, and I'm just like sitting back and laughing as they were then I just reap the benefits. But that's how it happened. What's the process like for you whenever you're coming up with a new character? Horrible. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> no, it's, um, I, I don't know. I'm not usually that conscious of it when I'm coming up with a new character. It's such a weird thing to think of. You're coming up with something that hopefully actually goes somewhere and that people see as, you know, like um, we're in a room full of characters that were nothing before, you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. someone had to sit there, like, all of this is the product of someone probably just in their own head going for a walk or sitting in their room crying, and uh, <laughs> uh, and then this stuff comes out of it, so I don't know, I don't really think, like, I don't sit there and go, time to come up with a thing that's gonna become someone's favorite yeah. thing, maybe, sure. hopefully someday. I get to the point where I just feel like it's there now. Like, you know, at some point I just think, yeah, okay, this doesn't feel like I was completely half-assing it, and now this character feels real to me. Even like the stupidest little thing, whether it's like a Zim or a Johnny or even like Gur, they are people at some point in my head, whether they're not to someone else, to me, I know what they should sound like, I know what they should move like. And like I said, and then somewhere down the road I'm like, oh, now this is something that I can tell someone else how this should be handled. Sure. Um, then it's sometimes out of my hands. Uh, but that's generally how it goes. Yeah, that's really interesting. So, um, you know, just kind of going off of that, do you find yourself like drawing um, like inspiration or like pulling traits from like people that you know or people that you don't know, like just general like real life people? I don't know. Traditionally, it's always been some aspect of myself. There's a thing I'm working on right now where it is definitely using friends or enemies, trying to make someone believable. Like, I generally know that I've gotten somewhere good with a character when I can talk to them mm -hmm. in my head right. and have them speak very immediately in response with something that I feel didn't necessarily come from me which okay. sounds kind of psychotic no <laughs> but it's uh, but it but I've, I've done that ever since I was a kid you yeah. know went like I will literally go for a walk and imagine a character wow. that I've worked on walking with me whether they're an awful person mm -hmm. or a good person if they seem like a person to me, then I feel like, yeah, I did, I did okay. That's this awesome. person's, this person's a jerk, or I wish this person were real. Yeah. And you know, and then people were walking past me as I'm sort of like just hugging myself. Just... <laughs> so, what's your most favorite project that you've ever worked on, ever? Going from comics to animation, they're both so different. Like, I love working in animation. There's like so much of a difference in terms of like all the different things that go into it. You got the music and the actors and stuff. And but then there's sitting alone and working on a comic and not having anyone around but yourself yeah. and that is also kind of nice so I don't know that I have a favorite project they're so different I like I love everything that I've done I'm lucky enough to like really enjoy doing everything that I've done I've done I've done like design work for shows that weren't mine like I did some designs for Disney for a Randy Cunningham show called Randy Cunningham and that was really cool because they just let me come up with anything I wanted and who could who would like dislike yeah. that? So it's like a nice like mix of different things that you've done. Like you like different aspects of all the different things that you've done. Yeah, I don't think I've done any of them enough to get bored. So well, no, that's not true. You get bored of doing everything. There you go. I got bored of comic books after a while, but then uh, now that I've been doing animation stuff, I kind of want to go back to comic books. So one thing I wanted to ask you was, do you have any advice for any animators, illustrators, artists, or pretty much anyone out there? Uh, yeah. If you are awesome, keep doing things, if you're uh, awful, just stop, give up, um, you know, look into your heart and ask yourself if you'll ever get any better, if you won't, just stop, because like, there's too many terrible things in the world. I, I completely agree. Yeah, terrible things are horrible. Yeah, that's the sound advice. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so if people want to find you, they hit you up on Twitter, at JonanV, and then on Instagram, you're at JenNV, because... Because? Because. 
All right, well, thank you so much for uh, joining us here at the office. You know, we really appreciate you stopping by. And I'm going to awkwardly shake your hand now, um, and then we'll talk after the camera shuts off. Let's shake through. Absolutely. Completely necessary. <laughs> thank you. Bye.